legend of the mermaid it came uh, through the fishermen because they used to stay uh, in the sea for a long time and uh, they didn't see uh, women or girls so they, uh, they used to see the sea cow or the dugong and they started to have this legend that the sea cow it's the mermaid. I'm working almost in the Red Sea since 10 years ago. Uh, since 2011 we have seen the dugong uh, several times, especially in the beginning. Um, I will say that I have seen it myself around 20 times. It just lo looks like uh, a huge animal and it's um, almost three meter length and one meter wide. Um, he have a big mouth so it can help him to eat a lot and he have a very small eyes. Um, he have a big tail so it can help him to just go swimming very fast and actually it's very fast. Actually the dugong, uh, the stay in a place where it's uh, shallow, most probably, and where there is a seagrass, so it can eat the whole day. But they can eat uh, up to 40 kilos, 40 to 50 kilos of seagrass during the day. Um, just stay uh, in the seagrass, eat, and after that go up to the surface after seven minutes just to have a breath, and after that go down again. It's very peaceful, doesn't hurt, it doesn't make anything. So uh, it's very nice to see it, especially while it's playing on the sand and sometimes it's just like uh, uh, rolling on the sand just to scratch his skin on the sand. So you can see in his skin the scratches of, uh, of, the, of the reefs sometimes on him. We made the briefing before any dive and we just described to the people how to uh, react underwater with uh, this kind of animals to keep a distance minimum three, four meters away from it so it can give him a freedom to move and to eat easy and calm. In Mars Abdabab, you find a lot of turtles. They live in there and they eat there and they move sometimes, come back. But the dugong, he just come to eat and move another place. He looking for a quiet place to be there. And when he disappeared, he disappeared for a couple of days. And it's not every day is there. Sometimes it's coming, sometimes it's not. It depends on uh, where he can find the grass. And he travel a long way. Sometimes we go on the south dive and we meet him in the south. When we go by speedboat, he just passed by. We try to, uh, to know how many dugong in the Red Sea. So we make uh, connection with the fishing people or uh, fishing in the south. If they see any dugong, they connect us and to know more information or more uh, how many or where they are staying.